Terms of Service 1000 and showing you a quick overview of the pro of the new Cam Studio 2.5. So and it's pretty much the same thing as the original Cam Studio 2.0. It's got the same stuff for file, um, region, pretty much uh, options. Also found out something new about the cursor options. You can now, uh, if you select highlight the color, you can now choose the color for the cursor. So, and that's really cool. So you can just, like, change it to green if you'd like. And, um, yeah, and also, uh, options, record audio for a microphone as well. Um, audio options, same thing pretty much. Also, I found another cool thing, uh, enable auto pan, which is pretty much, it'll follow, like, what I'm doing right now, it'll follow your mouse. And, um... That helps for uh, seeing the words better in your video, so, and you can change if you want to put it to 20 or to max, and, um, yeah, it's really cool. So, uh, it's also got, uh, this new thing called effects, which now has annotations and, uh, options for them, so, which I don't really mess with, and, um, it's also got view as well, and help still. And so it's pretty much the same thing. And um, my original uh, How to Use Cam Studio video, just click on that. I'll have the link in my info section, and that'll explain it more in depth. I'm just showing you new stuff that I found out for the uh, Cam Studio 2.5. So, and it's pretty much the same, except for a couple of cool things I just showed you. And um, when you press record, like I said, for the auto pan. I'll select fixed region and it'll give you this to choose where you want to record and just select it and you'll see it's already starting to record and uh, I'll stop it and um, I'll just save it as test and as you can see here and just select it and you'll see it's already starting to record and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for the quick overview of the new Cam Studio 2.5. Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.